Professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig, well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, justly, and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! Never imagined we'd attend a funeral for one of our professors. <sighs> Glad Weasley spoke for Fig. She honored him. He'll be well remembered. I only wish we could have done the same for Solomon Sallow. I need to go and see Anne soon. Ominous, there's something I need to tell you. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if you faced quite a fight. The rumor's true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Victor Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. You see, since Feldcroft was of interest to Ranrock, it became of interest to Rookwood as well. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw Anne, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. Oh, so cruel. Rookwood got what he deserved. Thank you for telling me. Anne and Sebastian deserve to know, and it should come from me. As we discussed, I spoke with Black. Sebastian's with the headmaster now, but perhaps there's a way to get word to him. When I find out, I'll send an owl. <laughs> 